coming over to play. Growing a little every day. Here he comes with all his friends. They've got stories, got time to spend. Franklin's school play. Franklin could count by twos and tie his shoes. He could remember his phone number, his address, and the names of six different shapes. But now, Franklin had a lot more to remember. Goose will be the little girl, Clara. And Franklin will be our Nutcracker Play Prince. The Prince? Thanks, Mr. Owl. Now, we need someone to be in charge of costumes. Ooh, ooh. Okay, Bear. And last but not least, we need a volunteer to be the prompter. Oh, oh, Mr. Owl, I'd love to be the prompter. What's a prompter? During the play, the prompter stands out of sight. And if anyone forgets what they're supposed to say... I whisper the words and help them to remember. That sounds like fun. Now, we have no time to lose. There's lots of scenery to paint, costumes to make, and words to memorize before the performance. Lots of words to memorize. Look, Clara, we're in the land of sweets. And there's the Sugar Plum Fairy. The school play. And you're the prince. That's me. Congratulations. Do you have a lot to learn? Sixteen and a half lines. I counted. I hope I can remember them all. You'll just have to work at it. Yeah. Look, Clara, we're in the land of sweets. In the land of sweets, Clara, everyone is a friend. No one ever fights, and there's no such thing as evil mouse kings. There are dancing candy canes, and dancing cakes, and cookies. The sugar plum fairy told me she is going to take us to the house of tea and hot chocolate, where everyone will sing for us. Songs about the countries they come from. Evil Mouse King, do you think you are a match for the prince? Take that, and that, and that, and uh, that. This will really make you look like the Nutcracker Prince. It looks great! I think it might be a bit big. I'll make it smaller. Oh, Nutcracker Prince! Please help me! I'm... I'm... At the mercy... Thanks, Badger. You know all the words. I have to, Franklin, in case anyone forgets what they're supposed to say. Good thing, too. You sure have a good memory. Remembering the words is the easy part. Saying them out loud with everyone watching. <laughs> well, I'm too shy to do that. I get too nervous and scared. Not like you, Franklin. Don't forget, everyone. First rehearsal tomorrow. Bye, Franklin. Evil Mouse King, do you think you are a match for the prince? Take that, and that, and that. Hello, young Franklin. I dropped by for a sneak preview. Do you mind? Well, I'm not sure I know all the words. Give it a try. Okay. ta -da! This is the part where I save Clara from the Evil Mouse King. Evil Mouse King, do you think you can match? I mean, do you think you are a match for, uh, for, uh, I think my brain's a little tired. Sorry, Mr. Mole. Oh, I understand. Guess I'll just have to wait like everyone else. Evil Mouse King, do you think you are a match for the prince? Take that and that and that. I do know it all, Sam. I remember all the words. Except when someone is watching. Okay, let's start with the part where Nutcracker and Clara are sailing into the land of sweets. Look, Clara, we're in, uh, the land of sweets. Uh, uh, and there's the... 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 Sugar Plum Fairy. 
Oh, she's so beautiful, and she's smiling at us. Uh, uh, in the land of sweets? I don't have my hat. What? I feel better when I have my hat on, and I don't have it, and now you do. Feeling better, Franklin? Let's start again. Franklin? Um, it, it's still too big, but I made it smaller. It bothers me. I can't think. Okay, then I'll start. <clears throat> oh, she's so beautiful, and she's smiling at us. The... the... <clears throat> it's just too noisy in here. In the land of sweets, Clara, everyone is a friend. No one ever fights. And there's no such thing as evil mouse kings. Franklin? I do better in here where it's quiet. I see. But I wonder how we'll ever manage to get the audience in there with you. Goose, would you please go help Fox with his backdrop? Okay. From what I just heard, it's obvious that you know your part. I can remember all the words, except when someone is watching me. Then I get nervous and I forget everything. <sighs> what you have is a common case of stage fright. It's nothing you can't get over with a little help. Franklin, uh, I'll help you. Just try to remember, when you're on stage, it's not you saying the words, it's the brave Nutcracker Prince. Okay, Badger, I'll try. The Sugar Plum Fairy told me she's going to take us to, uh, the house of... The house of tea and, uh, hot chocolate, where everyone will sing for us. Songs about the countries they come from. Tea will sing about China, and hot chocolate will sing about Spain. That was wonderful! You didn't stop once. Thanks to all the help you gave me yesterday. Okay, time to start the dress rehearsal. The performance is tomorrow, so we don't have a lot of time. Places, everyone. Ready, Franklin? I think so. Curtain! Um, 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 oh no! Look, Clara! Um, um, look, Clara! We're in the land of sweets! Um... Franklin, are you okay? I can do it when Badger's watching, but when I look out there and see all the seats, it scares me. You can't quit now, Franklin. The place tomorrow night. Now, now, it's not Franklin's fault. Someone else will have to play the prince. But who, Mr. Owl? No one can memorize it all by tomorrow night. Badger! Oh, no! Not me! I couldn't! I'm... I'm too shy. But you know all the lines by heart. And if you don't do it, we don't have a play. Everyone worked so hard. Please, Badger. I just can't do it. I tried. Will you try? Okay. Yay! Good for you, Badger. Thank you. Perhaps we should try the battle scene. All right? Places, where's our Mouse King? You'll be a lot better than me. I know it. Stand back, evil Mouse King. Call off your... A little louder, if you could, Badger. It's a big room. Stand back, evil Mouse King. I'm sorry, Badger. Hard to hear you way back here. Try to make your voice go really loud, Badger. Like this. Stand back, evil Mouse King. Call off your soldiers and unhand sweet Clara. Nutcracker, watch out! Evil Mouse King, do you think that you are a match for the prince? Take that, and that, and that! See, Franklin? You can do it. Franklin and the Secret Club. Franklin could slide down a riverbank all by himself. He could count forwards and backwards. He had lots of friends, and every day they play together. But one day, Franklin felt left out.
Porcupine's got a new soccer ball. Nice ball, Porcupine. You want to play with it? You bet. Can we? Maybe. Oh, come on, please. Who else wants to play? Me. I do, I do. Goose and I were here first. Okay, you can all play, but I make the rules, so I kick first. And Bear gets a breakaway. Bear, I said I get first kick. Sorry, I'll get it. Hey, guys, come on. I'll bet Porcupine will let you play with their new soccer ball. Maybe later. All right, Snail, let her go. Three, two, one. Yay! Great. Can I play with you guys? Sure, Bear. I've got lots of marbles. Here, I'm playing with Franklin. Let's go see what Franklin's doing. Yeah, come on. Don't you want to play with my new ball? No, thanks. <sighs> okay, let me have it. I caught it, and nothing gets past Bear. Yeah, and even less gets past Franklin. And Snail winds up, and back to you, Bear. See you guys later. But what about our game? I could get a hundred honey and peanut butter sandwiches, even without the bread. Hey, Bear, what were you and Porcupine whispering about at recess this morning? Was she telling you a joke? No, it wasn't that. She asked me if I wanted to join her secret. <laughs> Morning, Snail. Hi, Franklin. Um, could you give me a hand with my apple? It's for Mr. Owl. Sure, Snail. Boy, you're always the first one here. I know. My mom makes me come early. It would take a week to walk to school if I missed the bus. Hi, Franklin. Hi, Snail. Fizzle, fazzle. Huh? The secret handshake. What? Oops. I forgot. You don't belong to the club. Club? Hi, Goose. Fizzle Fazzle. Ding, Ding dong, dong bop. <laughs> Ding dong bop? Porcupine has started a secret club. We've got the secret handshake and secret meetings and a secret password and everything. It's fun to be in a secret club. Yeah. Think we could join? Could we? Porcupine only invites special friends. Don't worry, you're special. She'll ask you for sure. Maybe she'll ask us today. I bet if you're really nice to her, she will. Ding dong bop. <laughs> My cheeks are sore from smiling so much. Being nice isn't working, Bear. I don't think Porcupine wants Snail and me to join the secret club. Maybe we're not special enough, Franklin. Hoot, hoot, hoot. Hoot, hoot, hoot. It's a top secret meeting. I bet I know what it's about. You guys are going to be asked to join. You really think so, Bear? Got it. Just watch and see. Ding dong bop. Look, here comes Bear. He's not smiling, Franklin. I know. We're not in the secret club, are we? Worse, there's a new rule. No one in the club can play with turtles. But don't worry, Franklin. I'll still play with you. I don't need to be in any secret club, even if it has got a secret handshake and a secret password. And it's a... okay, Bear. You don't have to quit the club. Snail and I have lots of fun playing together. Don't we, Snail? Yes, we do. Well, besides, you can still come over to my house Saturday afternoons to draw pictures. That'll be our secret. Yeah, you're still my best friend, Franklin. Even if no one knows about it. <laughs> Nothing gets past Franklin. <laughs> Does anything get past you, Snail? Not a thing, Franklin. <laughs> Franklin, you're home early today. Whatever. Franklin? Franklin? You 
going to be late for school. Okay, we'll all meet at the secret tree with our secret maps at the secret time. And don't forget our secret snacks. Boy, Snail, no one's played with us for two whole days. Yeah, and how many times does she have to say secret? I'm thinking of walking to school tomorrow. But Snail, that'll take you a week. Good. <laughs> Hello, Franklin. Hello, Porcupine. What do you want? I have something special to ask. Would you like to join my secret club? Really? Yeah. And there's only one rule. No playing with snails. What? But Porcupine, you never told us about that rule. Yeah. I just made it up. It's my club. I make the rules. No snails. Well, yes or no. But, but... No, I don't think so. What did you say? I don't want to join your club. Then fine for you. You could have joined if you wanted, Franklin. But then I wouldn't feel so good. You feel good because you said no? Yeah, better than I felt for two whole days. You know, I feel really good too. We don't need to join a club. Clubs are dumb. Clubs aren't dumb, Snail, unless they have dumb rules. Hey, I've got an idea. Membership cards, ever neat. Franklin and I made them for our club. You are starting a club? The NSSASC? What does that stand for? The Not-So-Secret After School Club. And there's only one rule. Everyone can join. Just put your thumbprint on the card and you're in. What about me? <laughs> Feathers work too, Goose. Hot, hot, hot. Secret meeting. Guess we better go. Uh-oh. Maybe they're in trouble for talking to us. I just made a new rule. Aww. You can only belong to one club. Only one club? Well, I guess that's okay. Is that okay with you guys? Sure. Yep. Let's go join the NSSASC. Wait, where are you going? Your club has too many rules, Porcupine. Yeah, and rules that don't let someone join are mean. Anyone else want to join? I have one more card. Better put it down. There's Porcupine. Everyone can join. Remember? Yeah, you're right. Porcupine, would you like to belong to our club? Why are you letting me join? Because I know how it feels to be left out. I just wanted everyone to be my friend. My friend and no one else's. It was mean trying to stop them from being your friends, too. I'm sorry, Franklin. You too, Snail. Well, there's only one rule in this club, Porcupine. Oh, Franklin, don't forget what I told you. Oops, maybe there's two rules. Everyone is welcome, and no long-distance races. <laughs> I'm in. First meeting of the NSSASC is called to order.